So our next presentation is Augmental, uh, and they have the mouse pad. And I think, um, like, I think it would just be wowed as well uh, with, with what they're created and what they're doing. Um, so, um, Gordon, I think this is you. And yep. uh, I think you got somebody else on to do the questions because I think there's going to be lots of questions to come up. And I'll let you just get going right now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we might not have our question supporter with us today. Uh, I'll try to do my best. Last time I was here, I went a little bit long, so I'll hopefully try to change that this time. But uh, yeah, let me just share my slides here. Um, everybody able to see that? Yes? Um, cool. I just lost visibility from the other cameras, but I'm going to assume it's good, and I'm just going to jump right in. Um, and yeah, thank you for, for having us. Really uh, a pleasure to be here um, and sort of present and get the word out. But yeah, I am one of the co-founders of Augmental. My name is Corton Singer, uh, and we are creating hands-free device control at the tip of the tongue. The goal to just provide more equitable and universal access to your personal electronics and just the digital world in general. And so just as a bit of context, you know, since its invention in the 60s, the computer mouse concept hasn't really changed hand-based input paradigm has really dominated how we interact with computers since then. And our whole goal here is to really challenge this paradigm, embracing the idea of something, you know, more human, uh, a more human computer interaction, if you will, particularly as we see that the future will become more and more wearable. And you already see this trend happening in computer interaction going from, you know, looking at history, huge mainframes to desktop computers, at your desk, to laptop computers on your person, to smartphones, smart watches, earbuds. And this is just that trend to, you know, bring our technology a little bit more intimately close to the human user. Um, and really, we see a lot of tech companies, the big ones creating new wearable displays, like the screens you wear, but there's not enough exploration uh, in the ways we might interact with these new systems. And so this is really what motivated us to create the Mouthpad, our, our first product which we call smart mouthware for discrete and robust hands-free device control. So not only does this mouthpad leverage the innate dexterity of the tongue for cursor control, and this is you know what we call the 11th finger, given how capable that tongue really is, but it also takes advantage of the jaw, of head motions and breathing, uh, excuse me, breathing gestures as well. You can think of this like sip and puff. Um, again, we believe that good interfaces are, are human first. And part of this is being multimodal, allowing uh, for multiple ways of input, uh, therefore being capable of meeting us where we are at the level of input we find most suitable, not the other way around, which has been the norm for so long due to the large clunky hardware that we have to deal with. And so just really briefly, some of the cool things about the mouth pad is that, you know, it provides that expressive and precise control. This is multiple uh, options to interact with the device, not just one opinionated way. Um, also just its position in the mouth lends itself to a more discreet and private experience. Nothing clunky, blocking your face. People can't see what you're doing. They can't hear what you're doing. Um, and so it's virtually invisible to the rest of the world while being always available to the user. Uh, and it also um, is universal in that it works with standard Bluetooth mouse control. So right out of the box, you have Mac, PC, smartphone, tablet control, no drivers needed or anything like that. Um, and you might ask, you know, why the tongue? This is weird. Well, the tongue is pretty special. It has some remarkable innate dexterity to it. You can think of me talking, moving my tongue in all these crazy ways without really much effort. And it's also indefatigable. That's a tough word for me to pronounce sometimes, but it doesn't fatigue uh, like other parts of the body. And so what we're looking at here is what they call the humunculus. This is a proportional representation of the parts of the brain, how much we use them and how they are represented by size, but just by use. So on the right side, you see these really big hands and tongue. And that's just because we dedicate a lot of our brain to controlling the hands, which are very fine uh, controllers, but also the tongue, which is very fine and dexterous in that same way. And on top of this, the tongue has eight different muscles um, with slow fatigue fibers. And so you really just don't see fatigue happening as you do with other parts of the body, which is just amazing. Um, we, we see if anything, your neck, head, uh, throat, these things get tired first when, for example, I'm speaking all day, but the tongue is pretty much ready to go. And so we wanted to sort of capture that. Um, oh, I meant to skip this. Uh, I'll do a little plug. We just did a awesome BBC uh, 
video production. This is on our website. For the interest of time, I won't show it now. Um, I can list our website later so you could see uh, the story of our first paying customer, Keely, as she uses her device in college. But I would like to actually play this one because it's a little shorter and it follows one of our uh, customers in my hometown in San Diego as he uses his device. So I'm just going to show a quick segment from the news uh, that did a piece on that story. Oh. Device is changing the lives of people who are paralyzed. It allows them to use technology with their tongue, and one of its founders is from Ocean Beach. Our Zara Barker introduces us to a man who's testing the product and has his story. You can't anticipate this kind of thing, uh, but life goes on, and, and humans are remarkably adaptable. Mike Hastings has had to adapt after diving into a swimming pool that left him quadriplegic at just 20 years old. I can't move from the neck down, just my shoulders, my, my fingers and hands, I can't move. Over the last 26 years, he's tried ways to make his life easier and has seen a lot of technology change. Alexa said one to two. But the way he used a computer had never changed until now. He started using this mouth stick in 1999, pecking at the keyboard. It helped him through his physics and computer science degrees and has been the only way for him to do his job in cybersecurity. This stick, I have to sit upright to use it and keep it in my teeth the whole time. And in the back of my mind, it's always a thought that if I drop this, I'm in a bad situation now. But 25 years later, there's finally something easier. Lots of things have come across my workstation, but nothing uh, has got me to change from the mouse stick. And then the mouth pad came. The mouth pad is a trackpad at the roof of your mouth you can control with your tongue or your head movements. Mike is one of the first 40 people in the nation to test it out. You can use the computer just as well as anybody else that uses a computer but with their fingers and, and keyboard. If I bring up a book to read, I can scroll by moving my tongue along that pad. So I'm scrolling down and I'm clicking with my tongue. The new technology is thanks in part to Point Loma High School's class of 2012 valedictorian Court and Singer. You can think of this just, I will uh, I'll hold that part because you guys can hear enough about me, but just wanted to showcase at least the story of, you know, a, a real user who really hadn't found a, a tool that could benefit him in the way that his mouth stick had until this device had come along. And we find this uh, similar story with a lot of our users uh, so far. We have uh, over 60 users now. Um, we're on the market, but this has been really an effort that comes from the community. These are some of our very earliest beta testers, um, only a small sample, but we really designed this device using the feedback and experience um, from actual people in the field. We we want to make this product, I, I you know, I'm a broken record, but as human first as it can be. You know, we 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 want to reach users where they are and make this tool actually helpful rather than something that is just good enough. Um, this is something we've seen a lot with assistive input devices that it just gets you to control your computer, but leaves a lot of questions as to, you know, what else can I be doing online? And in this day and age, access to the digital world, I believe, is a fundamental human right. Um, let's shout out one of those early testers was my cousin. Um, so another bit of personal motivation from, from my end. But I have a, a couple other uh, brief videos to show you here. George, this, uh, after three minutes? This is, yeah, after only just three minutes of using it, the, the first interface we made to test and train. The idea is just, can we get you on your computer controlling your mouth? It's a little and, bit of, of inertia. Excuse that volume, but specifically, he's uh, moving that black dot to the yellow. And so you can see even moments after putting it in the uh, putting the device in, you can still control your computer with decent ease. Um, scooting from there, I will show when he trained himself. He said, "Okay, I want to play with my kids." And so this is the use case of him racing a robot. <laughs> Very precious <laughs> moment there. Um, and then last but not least, I'll show a video here of, uh, oh, is, unless this is not embedded, this might just load for a moment. But this video here is of uh, Rocky Nohand. He's the world's first quadriplegic e-gamer uh, on the Minossi's team. And this is 
on the bottom right hand side, our mouth pad oh. activity being used to control the movement of his character on screen. He does use his quad stick simultaneously to also aim, but this is showing that you can introduce the mouth pad in a pretty dynamic context and still get some pretty awesome use out of it. Um, we're, we're exploring gaming still. This is not officially released yet, but just shows you the uh, the level of dynamic and sort of um, high level application you can get out of this mouth pad. Um, one thing that I'd like to draw attention to is that we see a lot of, oh, let me just. Oh, nice. Just, stronger, better, smarter. <laughs> All those little awesome uh, reaction there. But yeah, what, what's, what's interesting to point um attention to is we saw with mike hastings he used it for with both tongue and head it's hard to capture in the video but we don't just have tongue tracking control we also have head motion input control simultaneously this is our first step to break out multiple modes of interaction and uh what's cool about this uh specific interaction feature set is you can actually use in a hybrid sense as well. So you're not just limited to head tracking, you're not just limited to only tongue tracking, but you can use them both where you have uh, head movement for cursor controls, but also using the tongue for interaction, you know, clicking, dragging, right clicking, scrolling, um, et cetera. And it's great to use if you do have uh, that neck motion so you can offload the tongue for doing the cursor control. But for those of our users who have very high level, uh, you know, injury, you can rely on just tongue control to get through most of what you need. Um, as a very quick demo, I know that I've shown you a couple, but this is the idea of how head cursor control would work in this quick Enable. video. Simply move your head where you want the cursor to go. For example, left to the right, up and down. And that's like just a simple concept. I'll also show you the simple concepts so that you can get it through my demo here as to how it's working. This is how the tongue-based cursor control would work if Applying that a lot of pressure with the tongue, using light touches instead. To move the mouse up, touch the top of the trackpad. To move the mouse down, touch the bottom of the trackpad. The same applies for movements to the left and the right. And so you can really kind of just get the idea of the basic functionality there, or at least that's what I'm trying to uh, showcase. Of course, I will be more than happy to also receive any uh, follow-up after the fact, and we can even hop on a call and do a further demo. I'll even share a slight plug. If you go to our website, you can watch some of uh, our, our trailer videos here. You could scroll down to learn more about what this product actually is, if you're curious. And you can also see here that uh, video I didn't show you of the BBC production. Um, similarly, you can see some user testimonial here from our actual users as to why it matters. Um, and if you'd like, you can sign up to get a device. But what does that mean um, here? is kind of what's available. We are currently in early access. Uh, we are selling at a discounted price of 1500 uh, rather than our full public pricing, which is 2000. Um, but yeah, we're, we're available with a limited uh, one-year warranty. We have awesome customer support and updates. I'm, I'm lead customer support, so I follow up every you know couple weeks or month to make sure things are going well. Free training, and of course, a full refund uh, within 30 days of getting the device just in case it really doesn't work for you. We want to not trick anyone into a purchase. We want to make this technology actually useful. And so with that, um, I will I will stop for now. Um, here is uh, our website. Also Gordon, my personal email, Gordon, but yes. I want to make sure that you, there's one question here uh, that last time I remember from last time. The mouthpieces are custom fit or not custom fit? Great question. Um, and I'm going to stop my share just to kind of show a little bit better too. This is uh, my dental model printed out. This is like my teeth right there. Um, sorry for the blur. But this device is custom to that dental model. It is part of my own, you know, mouth. It's not going to be able to be worn by anyone. And so as part of this process, we, we uh, coordinate with local dentists uh, around the country. We're in you know, I think over 30 states now with around 100 dentists uh, in partnership. And ideally, if you have a personal dentist who also has the tool we work with, we can just coordinate right with them um, and have them do essentially a scan. This is like what you'd get for an Invisalign or other dental aligning treatment, about a five minute camera scan at a dental office. Um, and yeah, should be pretty straightforward. Any other questions? I'm happy. I know I only have 30 seconds here, but 
Any I want you to take a minute or two to go over to the chat. There's a whole bunch of questions. Maybe you can answer some of those over there. Um, I also want you to do a shameless plug for the PBS documentary that highlighted you and your team on developing this product. So that's right. That we 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 did have a PBS. Uh, I'm glad you saw that. Uh, that was old days. So we we've, we've gotten a little bit more mature and sophisticated since then. Um, we are, there's a question, Jeff Wu, we are only available in the U.S. right now. We will be expanding. Um, right now, it's just U.S. Uh, how can you ensure that a person can use it before it's purchased? That's hard to deal with since it's custom. Um, so that's the refund, 30-day refund. Uh, I am I really mean it. I, I can list, list my email right here so you can copy it in the chat. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please just send them my way. Um, happy to answer. Sorry. Couldn't get through more of them, um, but thank you. I got about four more minutes left, so you can start jumping over there. People don't go away because I've got an awesome prize to give away. Thank you, Corden, very much. Awesome. Thank um, you.